Hi, my name is Johnny Moore. I'm known for my swing dancing and I call it Johnny Swing. In fact, everything about me is Johnny Swing. Um, I was born in St. Louis, Webster Groves. I got to say that uh, before dance, um, I kind of felt like I was a little bit lost. And at the sixth grade, thank God, Heidman Dance Studio came to our school in the evenings on Wednesday nights and uh, offered dance lessons. Uh, we all took it over the next two years and became ballroom dancers from Heitman Dance Studio. I'm not trying to plug them, but I am going to say thank you. Um, didn't teach us much except for the basics, the foxtrot, the waltz, you know, a uh, little bit of swing, a little bit of cha-cha and probably something else in there. Dancing got me one thing that I did want in life, and that was being close to women. I was working for Arthur Murray, just turned 21, and I was really a nobody in, at Arthur Murray except except for the fact that it was a, there were some people from England um, in town and my bosses and I was a peon and a Playboy Club called up and it was around the time of the first line dances, the bus stop. And the Playboy Club called Arthur Murray and asked the bosses, would you all come, send over some teachers and teach our bunnies how to do the bus stop because it was an end thing and so we they sent over i was we yes arthur murray part of but uh the bosses sent over some of the beginning teachers uh while we were still open and working hard i was working so they couldn't send me but they uh said after you know teach the uh, bunnies before we open and and uh, i ended up or actually we were all invited to join them after Arthur Murray closed that night. So about 10 o'clock when we closed, we all headed over to uh, the Playboy Club. And the first thing you want to know at the Playboy Club, and they'll tell you when you walk in the front door, don't touch a bunny. Don't touch your ears. Don't touch your tail. Do not touch a bunny in any way, shape, or form, or you will be kicked out of here for life. And I understood that. I heard them. I understood it. I knew they had a dance floor. I knew I could dance with all the other teachers. If you wanted to dance with a bunny, you could dance, dance like the coronavirus, far away from each other. Do not touch. Um, so I knew the rule, and we're I'm, I'm sitting around a big table of Arthur Murray's big shots, and I'm a peon, I'm a nobody. Uh, and, and we're there for a couple hours, and we're dancing, and I'm dancing with my teacher friends. And all of a sudden, our table got surrounded by Playboy bunnies. I think there was about eight, nine, ten of them. And I thought, man, this is fascinating. The, the bunnies are all surrounding the Arthur Murray table. Uh, I haven't seen them do that to any other table. And all of a sudden, I'm waiting for them to say something to my boss. And uh, all of a sudden, they said, Johnny. And I, I said, what? <laughs> he said, Johnny, will you dance with us? And I, I'm like, I, I step back in my seat and that's hard to do. Um, um, I said, sure, let's go freestyle. I, I know the rules. Let's go freestyle. They go, no, we want to we wanna dance swing with you because that's what we were all doing all night, swing dancing. And uh, uh, I said, no, 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 I can't do that. I do not want to be kicked out of here for life. I know the rules. Thank you very much, ladies. And all my bosses are looking at me. Every, all the other teachers are looking at me. Why are they asking me to dance? I don't know. I did know. I do know. Um, but I was in shock. And they says, well, let's go talk to the bunny mother. And I said, sure, but you, she's going to turn us down. So we, we walked across the place. All of bunnies walking around me and me walking up to the bunny mother's table. And a couple ladies were sitting there with her. And they go, can we dance with Johnny? And she goes, sure, you can go dance with Johnny. You can, uh, 
you can go dance freestyle with Johnny. And she goes, they go, no, we want to do swing with Johnny. And the bunny mother knew that you had to touch to do swing. So she knew what she was talking about. And she looked at me and I said, no, thank you. I understand the rules. I'm not going to dance swing with the girls. Oh, thank you very much. I was ready to walk away. And she goes, Johnny. And I said, yes, ma'am. You want to dance with my girls swing? I'll let you dance with my girls swing on one condition. I said, excuse me? She goes, on one condition, Johnny. And I said, yes, ma'am, and what is that? And she says, if you dance with me too. <laughs> How did I get into a commercial with Patrick Swayze? dreamed of partying with Patrick Swayze, your dreams can come true. Win the Mountain Dew party of a lifetime sweepstakes and we'll fly you and five friends to a party with Patrick Swayze. Details wherever Mountain Dew is sold. Want to dance? I was dancing in California. I didn't get kicked out because I was doing East Coast Swing. Uh, in a West Coast world, and I was I was admired enough by I mean when I went out to California I had no idea that everybody I met was a professional dancer a teacher of their own studio I thought they were all just great dancers like here in St Louis everybody's a great dancer in St Louis because their daddy all taught them uh, all the girls um, but I met some very nice people around Hollywood. Um, Sandra Giles was one of them. She was actually the bubble bath girl in Look Magazine in the 1950s. Um, and she became uh, very well known in Hollywood and, and used to throw dance parties. So I, I, I was very familiar. I met Muhammad Ali. God, I, I was never so knocked out by somebody <laughs> meeting somebody and shaking somebody's hand. I had to give him a hug. Uh, he was a bit incoherent at the time. Um, I didn't know about Patrick Swayze. I've seen his movies, Dirty Dancing. In fact, my bird is named Baby and I'm Johnny, so it's Johnny and Baby. Uh, but Son of a Gun, um, I was asked to do, I was, I was, I was thankful every time anybody asked me to dance like at a, uh, an event. And then at the uh, uh, a Rams game, halftime. But the best was when I was asked, my partner and I, Marianne Nunez, and myself, we were asked to be a part of a commercial, background dancers, for a Patrick Swayze, Mountain Dew, win a date with Patrick Swayze uh, contest. And it was a commercial. And uh, so we were going to be back down, background dancers. And I lived in California, just outside of Calabasas, where they used to shoot the old movies, the old westerns. Um, and so, funny part of the story, I mean, it wouldn't have happened, but uh, I happened to have started dating a new girl. So my dance partner uh, was a little upset with me. She uh, wouldn't dance with me on the set, so... When we got to the set, um, uh, we had to ask for new partners. So she got a new partner. They hooked her up with somebody else. And I got a new partner. They hooked me up with somebody else. And they went around the room and they placed, it, it, was, a, it was a barn type setting. Patrick even brought his beautiful stallion there. And uh, his mother was there, Mrs. Swayze. Um, uh, I was asked to be a background dancer, but since I did, well, actually, since I was not with my partner, I guess they looked at my, they, they placed every, all the background dancers in the back of the scene, and Patrick was going to dance, and his, and his wife was going to dance, Naomi, I think her name is, beautiful lady, beautiful dancer, um, and they had placed all the other dancers, and me and this girl that I had never met before, never danced with before, uh, we're standing there waiting for the director to place us. And he looked at me. I happened to have a little uh, 
beige cowboy hat on and a red shirt. And he goes, I think I want you to stand right over here. He separated me from the dance partner. So I didn't have a dance partner. He, he stuck me right in front of the band, in front of the stage, and holding a, a uh, Mountain Dew can. And son of a gun, uh, he, stepped, he stuck my partner somewhere else uh, on the other side of the stage. And I thought, well, darn, I'm not going to get to dance in this video with Patrick Swayze dancing in front of us. Uh, so, but I was happy. I was there. It was a great shoot. If you watch me doing swing, look for the triple step, triple step, rock and one, two, three, one, two, three, rock and I can't even say it without moving. One, two, three, rock and. And you know what you can do with this? Rock and is your safe point. Every time you do a one, two, three, and a one, two, three, rock and is when you push the girl back a little and you both do a rock and you come back together on the end and then you can turn her. One, two, three, rock and. One, two, three, one, two, three, rock and. Everything that I do, like I started to say earlier and I have been saying all along, is that's what I do. And you can change it as long as you lead the girl into it. The best thing about being a male dancer in the, in the years that I've been dancing and the dances that I do, the man is the leader. And if you have a gentle touch, she'll move with you gently. If you have a rough touch, she'll be with you rough. But be a man and a gentleman. Because that is a lady in your hands. Poor oh, man. And uh, that's, that's Johnny Swing in a nutshell.